The wheels are in motion for the repeal of the ban on gays serving openly in the U.S. military. But Don't Ask, Don't Tell remains the law for now, leaving service members serving in silence. Here's CNN's Soledad O'Brien. You may not be able to see it, but this man is nervous. He has every reason to be. He's one of an estimated 60,000 members of the U.S. military serving in the closet. Wondering if this is the day that my secret's gonna fly out. You know, is this the day? You live like that every day? You know, whenever you get that email come to the office from your boss or, you know, somebody, you know, the phone or who's on the phone, I don't know. Or, you know, it's just that you never know. Is this that phone call? The phone call that's gonna kick you out of the military. Yes. He's a 10 plus year veteran with Army Intelligence, currently stationed overseas. He can't reveal his identity because of the military policy, don't ask, don't tell. But that's about to change. The committee's focus today is on the don't ask, don't tell policy. The Service Members Legal Defense Network has been lobbying Congress to pass the Pentagon's military spending bill. It has an amendment that would repeal don't ask, don't tell. You think you have it? This vote will be close. Uh, we won the vote in committee. We're going to win the vote on the Senate floor. Now, Senator McCain has threatened to filibuster, and so we may have to come up with 60 votes. If we have to, we will. But some say the military isn't ready for openly gay service members. For former Air Force Major Mike Almy, the upcoming vote comes too late. How did you find out that you had been caught? <laughs> Uh, my commander called me into his office for a routine meeting, which was not out of the ordinary. And the first thing he did was he read me the DOD policy on homosexuality. Just like that. And I, I'm sure I just turned ghost white because I, I was completely flabbergasted, completely... Um, someone had pulled the rug out from under me. Five years ago, a co-worker found his emails to a man he was dating. Almy was booted from the Air Force. I'm pissed off. I really am. I want my job back. I want my career back. Can you get it back? Um, well, Realistically? There's been about 14,000 men and women who've been thrown out under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So you've got to figure there's maybe two or 3,000 of those who want to come back in. How do you revive a career that's, you know, that's been completely derailed, like mine, where I've been out for four years now? The repeal won't automatically lift the ban. The services still could take months to implement the new policy. There is no guarantee ousted members like Almy could return. As it moves forward, what advice would you give members of the military who closeted? What do you tell them? Wait. They have to keep in mind that this law has not gone away. Serve in silence until you get the green light. When the time comes, breaking that silence will not come easily. If it is repealed soon and I decide to come out, I think it will be pushback from colleagues initially. Pushback in what way? I think it's going to be some pushback negatively from co-workers and aspects of, you know, you know, like I said, going out to lunch a little bit more. You're going to lose friends. Yeah, I'll probably lose some friends. Does it make it worth it still? Yeah, because I'm me. It makes it worth it to be who I am. For CNN in America, Soledad O'Brien, Washington, D.C.